I think this is a very important artist problem because we've talked about creative block, we've talked about uh, having a place to art, we've talked about not hoarding your art supplies, we've talked about a lot. One thing we have not talked about is a time to art. Making sure that you take the time to do art every day. Now some of you might be like, well I do art every day and, and great, that's, that's a very good thing. But others might struggle with finding the time and that's part of the creative process. It's important that you make time every day and it's you time. I call it, what was I saying yesterday? Yoga for the mind. It's, it's relaxing, it stretches and flexes your creative muscles. Now when it comes to doing something every day, even if it's just 10 minutes, it's important that you get in the habit. When I'm at home, I like to do uh, home workout programs. And the hardest part of any workout I've ever done is just pressing play. Once I press play, I'm, I'm gonna do it, I'm there. Get, motivating myself to get to that point, that's, that's the struggle. So you need to press play on your art. Now, sometimes you can't art when you want to, you know? Well, you can art if you want to, I mean, you can leave your cares behind. But if you can't art because you're like on a plane, or you, you thought I was gonna still go with the song, it's important that you know that there are other things you can do. Now, this is where the story comes in. I had a uh, injury about a year ago where I, I hurt my back and I couldn't work out. So I was very concerned like, well, I'm gonna break the habit and then I'm just gonna be fat again. And I don't want that as much as pizza. I took that time that I would have used to exercise to do anything for my physical health. So that could include looking up healthy recipes. Sometimes, literally, as silly as it sounds, I would sit and just watch the workout video because I was dedicating that time to my physical health. If you're on a plane and you can't bring your pain set with you, I don't know, if you have a, you know, iPad or mobile phone or whatever, you know, doodle with that. If you have your watercolor paints or whatever paints you're using and you can't think of anything you want to do, do your swatches, do some color mixes and blends. They're always very helpful to have on hand. You know, if you're right-handed and, and you have a hand in injury, spend those time to watch tutorials. Spend those times to better your understanding of art history. Every time you pick up a pencil, every time you read an art book, every time you watch a tutorial, you are growing, you are learning, you are becoming better. You are never failing as long as you are trying. This is like really motivational. No matter where you are in life, no matter where you are in the world, there's always a time that you can make just for you to let those creative juices flow. What I wanna know is, regardless of if you're a professional artist, a, you know, a hobbyist, wherever you fall on the scale, uh, is this something you struggle with, making time for your art? And what are some things you do to uh, make sure that you keep those creative juices flowing every day. I wanna make sure that you are pressing play on your art. I also wanna make sure you're pressing play on our videos and press play on me on Instagram at Mike Not Jerry, where we're continuing to add original content, I actually have a little thing now, uh, that are designed to help inspire you and keep you on your creative journey. I wanna be your creative coach, if you'll let me in. And if you let me in, you're gonna be happy. Why are you laughing at that? Do it, just do it! Pew, pew. Okay. But I have gas, so. That's what Salvador Dali does. I love his rooster. He had a big rooster. Hmm. What? I'm all about innuendo. It's a little innuendo. I don't know what that means.